Hey everyone, I just wanted to do a quick video showing you how you can create your very own um, spreadsheet list of all of your Facebook friends. Um, these are my 2000 plus Facebook friends with some little squares that you can use for follow up and for dates of contact and results and that kind of stuff. So you're going to want to start on the home page of your Facebook and you're going to want to come up here, sorry all my notifications, to the little drop down arrow and scroll down until you see settings. Click on settings and then you'll see general account settings and all the way down here you'll see download a copy of your Facebook data. You're going to want to click start my archive and enter your password. I'm not going to do that so I don't have like 12 on my computer. But enter your password and it's going to actually send it to the email address that you have associated with all of your Facebook notifications. Um, so enter that and then over the next 12 hours it does take quite a, a while to um, do that archive. So just be um, checking your email over the next 12 to 24 hours because it is time sensitive. Once you have downloaded this, it does not last forever and you'd have to re-download it again if you miss it. Um, so you'll check your email to say your Facebook download is ready. And like mine, obviously I can't do mine anymore because I did this about a month ago. Um, so here it would give you the ability to actually download the copy of your archive. And then once you download it, you can find it in the files on your computer under your downloads. Click on that, and what I did was copy and paste the entire list. So I copied it, I clicked, and I dragged down, just like if this were the list, I would do this, on the entire list of all of the names. And once I did that, I pressed copy. Um, and then I opened up Excel, and I just clicked on the first tab of Excel and said paste. And of course, it did all of the names in each column, which was wonderful. So what you're going to do then is I change the layout from landscape to portrait up here by orientation. You can do that. So I wanted it to be long ways so I'd have names running down one side and follow up down the other side. Oops, I didn't mean to do that back. Um, and then I wanted to have at least four of these little spaces over here so I could do like when I first contacted someone and then maybe a result and um, when I was going to follow up with them and then a result and um, so I just wanted a few spaces for that so I um, caught, dragged around and copied and then what I did to make sure that everyone had an outline I clicked this little box up here and said all borders for those that I had highlighted. So again, I just highlighted and dragged down. Um, you can do that easily by doing the A, B, C, D, E. You can just click on those up here, um, see how F, G, H is not highlighted. Um, so you can highlight those, and then I did all borders. And so when it printed, it did portrait. It had all the borders on those, and of course you can drag those to the size that you want. You could add more um, and make them smaller if you wanted to do that too. So then I printed it out, and it's a nice, little tidy easy way to do my first contact messages and just reach out to people and you guys this has been so beneficial because I'm reaching out to people that I never would have considered before and everyone needs this stuff so it's wonderful and don't be annoying obviously but just um, don't beat around the bush you want to contact people you want to let them know up front why you're contacting them and then obviously you want to be nice and personable and compassionate at the same time so if you have any questions about how to do this or what you should be contacting these people with um, just give me a holler and we can walk through it um, more in person but this is a little overview um, so that's what it would look like in Excel and then of course on Facebook again you just want to go to the arrow settings and then oops download a copy of your Facebook data. Thanks so much, guys. Hope this was helpful.